evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by a nerdy old gamer. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You are building things. I am up here where we're going to have green circuits, and um, I've been doing a bit of prep for that uh, offline. And also, I have cheated. I have cheated immensely. And oh, no. made myself a power armor off line where I have put two exoskeletons in, two personal robo ports, uh, a bunch of solar panels, and a personal battery mark too. <gasps> How could you? I've still got module armor. I haven't. But I have been doing some other things offline, um, uh, although not building things that we have. Uh, uh, I have been building uh, this down here. Who's that trainer? Down where? Um, uh, down here where I had my my uh, sulfuric acid outpost. It has completely changed mm -hmm. because I really hated the design of the previous one. Um, okay. Terrible. So, let me bring the map up and show you here. So we have a crossroads. Trains will come in and uh, they can either turn left or turn right to sit into parking bays to pick up sulfur or pick up sulfuric acid. Or they can travel further down and then they can turn left, right or straight on to go to the petroleum drop-off, sulfur drop-off, the iron plate drop-off. So, yeah, I'm picking up sulfur from right next door, driving around and bringing it back to here. So that train's a bit pointless, but, you know, it's doing. Okay. But I thought that made more sense than having a, a random... Long belt or something. Conveyor belt, yeah, going over there. It just it just works in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the petroleum comes in here from our oil place, which I have changed slightly as well. Uh, it comes down, gets spread out amongst these ones here, and uh, yeah. then it all goes to the west, up to the train up there, mm -hmm. and then the train goes off and goes wherever it needs to go to, and it's, there. it's exactly the same setup I had before, just moved basically. And you can see I put in stuff ready for expanding it if needed, but we need way more oil. Yeah. Oil is going to be a issue, isn't it? Yeah. We have and some oil, same... oil at the copper ore, actually. We have a little bit there. We've got a bit underneath the rails by the gear workshop, which I might bend the rails out and try and yeah. put in tap yeah. Uh, I did also notice, where was it? There's 6,000 oil near you. 6,000% oil near you. To the... Uh, yeah, to the right. Yeah, yeah, mm. the, the east. Yeah, and there's 5,134% oil uh, if we carry on the line where our, iron, our south iron ore pickup is. The, iron, the first iron ore pickup. Uh, and oh, there's yeah, copper there. there, too. Yeah. So, um... So that's a thing, and I want to go that way because that's that's where I want to build today. But okay, I've been doing, I've been planning stuff offline. Cool. Off. Uh, what I want to do because uh, I think we both have, haven't we? We've both been planning stuff because yeah, pretty much we've been running around pr pretty aimlessly, haven't we? Um, we have in a lot of episodes, not really doing a great deal and trying to get stuff together, and it's not very entertaining. I feel. Uh, no, exactly. We, we've been doing something, but not enough. Unless, unless you like us wandering around like headless chickens, not knowing what we're doing. Yeah. In that case, you can just come and watch me in real life, and that's <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> but also, I have changed the oil. Oh, oh sorry, Conan. Um, I, I think we have a fatal flaw with, flaw with our uh, coal, uh, our uh, fuel train. It doesn't get any fuel oh. itself. Yes, it does. Where? It gets fuel at its, at its fuel pickup. Okay. Uh, so uh, so I, I downloaded uh, the map and, and did a bit of stuff uh, in, the, in a single-player world just to, to try some things out. And, and it kept running out of fuel. So may maybe it's it's not a problem. Providing it's not driving round and round in circles all the time because you haven't set up a a stop fuel train. 
because it's set to full cargo. So if it drives off somewhere, gets to a station where the cargo is full, mm-hmm. and then just drives back to the station, it won't ever stop to pick up its own fuel. Uh huh. It is kind of reliant on the outpost that you put down. If you put down a train fuel stop to have that logic, okay, prevent it moving. Okay. But it should be. It should. But um. But yeah, I I have extended this uh, system here. Because I actually looked at the ratios for oil to pieces, and it's essentially you need 20 oil refineries, uh, which is enough for one saturated pipe, which we don't have. Um, mm-hmm. You need seven chemical plants breaking down uh, heavy oil to light oil, and you need 20 chemical plants breaking it down to petroleum. And that's the correct ratio ish. Okay. It's not exact, it's like point something, but yeah. Uh, I've got some more doing uh, breaking down heavy oil to light oil because because I have good technologies out and space for the lubricant, but we got we're not using lubricant yet. So, but essentially, we are stuffed for oil. We desperately need oil. Yeah, we do. We do. So, I might start with that. I was going to start with a uh, with my other plan of building the. Uh, um. Oh, what's the word I was going to build? The conveyor belts. I'm just going to start building it. Uh huh. Which I feel we do need. But what yeah, I want to do is we do. take out this uh, station here. So, now what I'm going to do is I have a blueprint here that is for production of green circuits. And, well, what happened to that? Green circuits. And I am going to stick that in here and just let the guys get on with it. Their little robot buddies. And it's going to take a while to build because <laughs> it's big. Oh, something is wrong. Something is way off. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, deconstruction planner. Let's deconstruct all that. Because that was way, way off. What the hell happened there? Sir. Uh, that was just horrible. Oh, that, there it there is one feature of uh, version 1.1 1. 1 which I am looking forward to above anything else. What's that? They are going to, when you put start putting down a conveyor belt, it stays in the line you put it down in. Okay. So, have you ever been putting down a, a long conveyor belt, run into a tree and it's knocked you off one and then you put start putting the conveyor belt on the wrong line? Yeah. I have. Yep, they're, they're fixing that. That's kind of nice. That. Yes. That's kind of oh, nice. Yes. Oh, yes. So, looking forward to it. Oh, I wonder what the hell happened with my blueprint there. That was not what I wanted at all. <laughs> I think I may have just inadvertently moved my mouse just because, just before I clicked. Ah. Uh. And the whole thing got messed up. Alright, so I want to empty this chest because I've got one chest full of uh, iron here because I mm. I disconnected all the iron and then remembered I kind of needed to uh, do other things. Hmm. It wasn't a good idea. Let's... Right, let's get all of this stuff. Can you cancel a deconstruct order somehow? Uh, if you go to the deconstruct planner and then shift and drag over it, then it should do. Okay. Oh, nice. Then I will do that. Uh, this chest is going away. Shift that. Uh, 
Uh, no, all, all this uh, deconstruct. Man, something went horribly horrible wrong with this. Alright, fine. You broke it. I did. I did. I knew it. I had it all planned out. Ah, see, that's what you get. I told you. I told you. Shouldn't have made the blueprint. You should just have it either on the other screen or in your head, and then, and then, build it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. See, it's karma. I told you. Yeah. The only blueprints I've got are um, of a, uh, a a rail twin stop thing uh, because I tweaked and mucked about with this for quite a while so I thought I'll put the rail in that'll be fine and I've got the stations that I'm going to use because they're going to be used in more than places okay that makes it but the actual build of the stuff is going to be all done on there I know the ratios I know how it works so it's fairly he says he's mucking about this deconstructing stuff but I could have done off camera but um but I didn't but I didn't oh well Okay, so there we go. So that's going to empty that onto those conveyor belts there. And that will go back into the system and do its thing. Okay. Well, I want to deconstruct all this too. Because it's in the wrong place. What? What do you mean cannot reach? It's a blueprint. What? Alright. So right, so let's let's go to where we're going to be making our. You don't go there. Conveyor belt. This doesn't go here. What the <coughs> frick I also need did to I do? That put that in the wrong. Oh dear, oh dear, it's all gone wrong. It has. I have no idea what I did. Did you customize the rail line? Is that the problem? I didn't. I didn't, no? though. Okay. Wow, that went wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I so, I've got it. loads of... Uh, wait. I did put an upgrade plan here. So, let's... Oh yeah, and I actually had this um this place use uh stack inserters to try and fill the ore train up quick as I could. So I really thought we were gonna run out of stuff for the ore train. Mm-hmm. But it turns out we did. It turns out we did. Come here, eight of them. Let's go sit on a belt. My robots do their thing. Turn it all down. Stick you down. And I'll stick the wood. I don't think we need the uh, ammo I'm here. Hmm. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, <laughs> blueprint. Green circuits. I want it like that. All right, I need some underground. So this up here needs to, to make. go as well. Awesome. Well, it looks like this iron patch is uh, running out. Okay. Which iron patch? The. The, I was going to say the first iron patch, but it's not the first iron patch. Um, the first iron patch is dead. It's got one, uh, two miners running on it still. Okay. Uh, the second one we tapped into, the one where we first built an outpost. Oh, really? Do you have the southern one? The southern one? Yeah, the one down where I'm going to build the nuclear reactor. Oh, down here. I'm still not sure which one you're talking about. The, the one where, where you are? Put... Nope, nope, the one further south, where it's going to put the nuclear rats. What down there? 
That's not dead. No, no, that's we still have that one. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. The one, the one where I am, uh, there's one uh, I've just taken out a whole load of miners. Uh huh. So, so it's not dead, but it's dying. Yeah. In fact, I'm taking out even more of them. That's done. Right, let's that's try done this again. So I want this to be. Oh, I've got the hiccups right there. Oh dear. There we go. That's much better. That looks about right. And this is going to take a while to put in, but it needs to be done. And I need more assimilation tools. Hmm. Ah, there are lights in here. Ah, I didn't realize that. Um, there's no point with night. Where are the lights? Alright. So how are we looking for power? When it's going down, we're consuming more power than we're generating because of... Oh, now it's going back up. Uh, not sure we can keep this pace up with two global ports. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you mean your power? I was going to say. Huh? Yeah, no, no, no. My, my personal power. So our, our, our actual overall power seems fine. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Man, as soon as I move, the power just drains. <laughs> you need fusion. Yes, we do. We do need fusion. Which is weird that we can create personal fusion power packs, but we can't build... Um, a nuclear reactor. Or, or we can't build fusion power packs for uh, the system, you know. So. Yeah. That is a bit strange. Now I've got some light which we don't need. Oh man. Power is draining. Right. So now that's all been upgraded. Let's uh, move this circle off the end that I put in there so the turn around. We will have to put that back in. That's fine. Now, this green circuit setup is going to spend every last copper cable that we're going to make over at the copper cable setup. So we're going to need to at least double that, maybe triple it. Um, it's quite insane. And basically the copper lines are on the inside here. So on this line, and the uh, iron plate are on the outside. We only need... Well, well the, the copper cable lines are basically fully saturated. Uh, one copper cable line, blue copper cable line, uh, can handle six manufacturers of six assemblers making copper cables of the red kind so we're kind of future proof proofing it uh, which is fine uh, and we're also building with, with with the the maximum output in mind so one input of of um, of copper cables can handle six machines, and six machines then output 0 0.4 lines of copper cables. Uh, so that's well, more or less half uh, a line. So we have two line, two 
two times six machines outputting onto the same line uh, for for a total of 12 uh, machines outputting there, which is 0 0.8 of a line, which is fine. It's, uh, it's the way it's supposed to be, I think. Sounds like you looked at the numbers. Sorry? Sounds like you looked at the numbers. I did, very much. <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> uh, I was watching, you were standing there watching the robots go back and being like, I can't see what you're saying, but uh, I assume you mean that uh, when the stuff comes in, it's designed for blue belts. Exactly. Yeah, that, okay, that, there we go. Right. So, that, that, that is what so I mean. This is built for, because I was looking at it again, you haven't left gap to expand that, but you don't need to. Because it's, it's designed for blue belts. Whereas the one that I'm going to build is designed for red belt. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's designed for red belt. Well, that probably works with yellow belt. I don't know. Right. Um, We're going to have to go back oh, and get on. some more hold stuff on. soon. Yes, that is correct. But I need to put some landfill in down the bottom here because I need to connect this rail to that one. Can't do it. Landfill. And I only have a hundred landfill, which is not fantastic. A hundred landfill, that, that's like a. Uh, that's nothing. That's, no, it's, it's really that's a, not. That's sorry. literally a drop in the ocean. Well, I'm going to put that drop in the ocean in. Uh, It's going to say no. Okay, so I need more landfill to do that. Could we need a loop in there? Because the iron ore train otherwise will have to go, I don't even know where, to try and get back out. Not oh. really connect. We could connect him up here. I suppose that oh, would also work. There's something missing there. Okay. So the other problem I need is we need more rail. We don't have any, do we? We are, we are actually at critical rail mass. We are. And that's kind of my fault because I removed. Uh, removed all the stone. I removed all the stone because we were getting rid of the outpost and building things out in the world. Maybe we should have built a rail outpost, kind of. We definitely need to make rails to be able to do that, though. Well, we could have done that before we started making up. A, you know, we, yeah, we, we could have, have probably started with the the two uh, ore places and then rails, rather than making gears and then. Uh, making sulfur in it, so all that sort of stuff. Maybe. Probably would have worked. Maybe. Ah, I you might be right. There's some stuff. chests missing here somewhere. Box. No. Okay. Do you... don't know whether that iron ore trains down. Or... May do. Right, so we need. Go... We need. Definitely need. You guys. Very full of... Oh, I've got rails in my. Log... What? I've got rails in my logistics system uh, to trash them. Oh. I suppose I must have been there to. Uh, save some spare. That, that helps. That helps. Awesome. I have got boxes of stuff somewhere as well. Rails in. Okay. That. And... Into that having explosives, and I want explosive. I need. Explosives. We should be making explosives, right? We we are, but I don't have any on me. Ah. Oh. Right. Uh, let's make chest. Uh... Oh. I have some stuff on me that I can blow up. Dead, dead. Right. So then we can make some some iron plate. Right. Here. 
and then we can make some of these long-handed inserters and I think as much as I love the trees they are actually getting in the way now. they are annoying I know they are, they are they are annoying and they seem to be ground back way quicker I did update Noxy's tree mods mm -hmm. um, and I don't know quite what's happened but they are definitely ground back I mean this whole area was pretty much dead trees and now I can see loads of green and blue trees around I'm like hmm um why are you growing back? What, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, well. Mark my words. Trees are evil. They must have become sentient because you killed so many of their kind. Maybe. Well, then I'll kill right, the sentient that. ones as well. <clears throat> yeah, perhaps the next map should be a, a, a no tree. No tree map. Yeah. yeah. Set trees down to the absolute bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah, that that could be fun. It would be a lot of pollution going everywhere, but I'd be okay with that. Uh, yeah. Right, more trees to tear down that I don't want to tear down. Oh, wait, I'm not done up here. Let's finish this off. Am I? There. Couldn't I see, see myself for robots? So far, we have no so far. I think I abandoned my robots on the run over here. <laughs> It does they do tend to happen. It, they do eventually make it to you. In my, in my off-world thing that I was doing, I was running backwards and forwards, building rails and doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had 49 robots on me for ages. Like, where's where's the 50th one? Where's the 50th one? <laughs> and it was like... Because I jumped into a train and driven to one place, it had flown halfway. And yeah. And off the radar. So yeah. I had no idea where it was at all. Uh, <laughs> and then after a while, I just saw it come slowly. La, 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 I'm here. Hello. Yeah. Wow. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait for yeah. me! <laughs> they must have chased me all the way in the train, all the way up to the, uh, wherever the hell I went to, I can't remember where. Back, back to the base. And then, and then obviously come all the way back again. It's like, yeah. wow, you are a, you are a dedicated robot. Mm -hmm. I am surprised that they didn't just have them. No, it's batteries flat. That's it. Full, that's, falls out the sky. you got to go pick it up. Yeah. Uh, that... Put a little symbol on the map. Yeah. Map going, hey, dead robot here. That would be incredibly micromanaging, though. It would, it would. But you could have them drop to low ba low batch power, so they fly slowly. And then after a while of flying slowly, they're just like, nope. I've, yeah. I've, I, on low battery mode, I've got like five minutes of power, and then when I run out of power, that's it. Dead. Yeah. Go then on, they crash, power. crash, and and explode, basically. Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, I'll just have them fall to the floor. And then you've got to go and pick them up. But that means the bite is going to attack them and stuff like that. Yeah. It would be a micromanagey, but I feel as if it... it seems a bit weird they can just fly forever. But then yeah, it's also it a does. bit weird, you know, a, a fusion power plant. Well, I haven't got a solo wreck, but you can get fusion power plants in my backpack. Hmm. But I can't build them in the world. No, that's true. Solar panel generates 30 kilowatts of power. And uh, what is a have you got a fusion power plant in your one or no? We, we can't make no. them yet. Oh right, okay. I say because a steam turbine generates nine hundred kilowatts. So yeah. then I think a nuclear reactor can generate way, way. Should be able to. Right, well, I guess we're just standing around here because if I move, our power dies mm. and is still dying, even though I'm not moving. <laughs> ah, okay. So let me tick in my 
Right, side rail twin stop blueprint shape type thing, which hopefully Take will fit out. without messing up the rail. I think it did. Take you out. How, how many uh, personal uh, portable solar panels do you have on you? Uh, in, my, in my system, I have one, two, five. I have seven. Seven for and two I've, I've got, robo ports. I've got seven. I've got five batteries, and I've got two robo ports. Okay. So I have fifteen personal solar panels, and I have a Mark II battery. And I have two personal robo ports, and I'm still being drained for power. Okay. And I am now out of power. That's weird, because I mean, I mean, my my power does drop down when I have the robots do a lot of stuff. Mhm. Mm it's never. Um so terrible it all falls apart uh, that's for me that's weird i just took out my legs uh, ouch yeah it hurt it hurt <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and now my power is charging but that's also because my robots aren't doing anything yeah, it might be the legs. I don't know, but okay. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that, and then this is where we're going to build our conveyor belts. But it's going to be in the next episode because uh, that yeah, time. Called... Done. Yep. Done. Detroit. We are out of time. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll carry on in the next one. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.